Hello, my name is Hershon Singh, and I'm going to be making a bird beak that um, when you move your mouth, the beak moves. Um, it's going to look something like this in the end. You're going to need two party hats and one scissors. The first thing you have to do is you have to fold in half. Fold a party half in half. Um, if you don't know what, uh, like what half, um, you have to look at this fold right here, the crack, the crack. A line and um, you have to fold in the middle right there crease it this is really hard of material so crease it hard And then you have to fold it into something like this, a curve. So like And then don't cut off the string right here you're gonna need this or else if you cut off cut that off it's gonna ruin the whole thing for your top you're gonna have to do the same fold in half I'm asking my dad so he could help me all right so <clears throat> for the for the beak um, you have to make a cut from approximately here till about one and a half inches like this and leave a little gap approximately two centimeters and another cut about the same length one and a half inches <clears throat> you need to bend this part forward like this and cut a little bit from here you know we don't need on the whole thing so so it looks something like this so fold it on the front crease it and these two parts we are gonna fold them backwards so the fold has to go from approximately here so it's not right from the edge but it is little before the edge and you just have to fold it backwards like this same thing with the other side and don't worry if you don't get it too accurate this is gonna still fit so <clears throat> so I'll turn it over flip it over and you can see these two turns are at the back this one's at the front again uh, crease them well <clears throat> and then now to give it the shape of a beak uh, from approximately in the center just make a small bend like this don't have to crease it but just a bend same thing with the just other a, side just a tiny bend yeah like this and then it's something like this you will see and then hold the whole thing and try to give it a curve just 
hold it a couple of times and it will stay. So that's the shape you're finally gonna get. This. Um, the parts are ready. Now I'm gonna show you how to wear them. You have to wear the bottom one first. The string has to be resting on your ear, right there. And then your beak, your lower part of your beak goes under your chin right there. And then the top part, the string goes all the way down to the neck right there. You have to make a few adjustments. And then Thank you for watching at Hershan Singh. Um, I hope you enjoyed making a beak.